Welcome everyone back to Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Cracker Barrel copycat chicken and dumplings. This is so delicious, you guys. If you've ever had Cracker Barrel chicken and dumplings, you're going to be so happy for this recipe. If you haven't had it, then this is going to be a treat for you. It is so delicious, so easy to put together. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Just got a medium onion. We're going to cut off the sides, peel off the outer layer of skin. I'm just going to cut it in half. Make slices. And then we're going to cut the slices into pieces. Now if you don't want to add the onion, you don't have to add the onion. You can even add onion powder later on in the dish. The onion will provide a really nice flavor while we're poaching or boiling the chicken. I'm going to place my burner onto a high heat. I'm going to place a large pot on there. I'm going to add about three to five chicken breasts. Now these are pretty big size here. So we're going to be poaching or bringing to a boil a lot of chicken. That's why I say three to five. If you want to just do enough for this dish, it may take just three large chicken breasts. Or you can go up to five if you want some leftovers. We're going to add in some salt. I'm going to sprinkle it all over the chicken. And some black pepper. I'm just going to cover the chicken with it. I'm going to add in my one diced onion. Right here I have two cups of chicken broth and two cups of water. I'm going to add that. Alright, the liquid is coming up about one, one and a half inches above the chicken, which is where you want it. Now on the high heat, we're going to bring this to a boil. Our chicken is coming to a boil now, so what we're going to do, I'm going to place a lid on. We're going to turn the temperature down to a medium just to kind of let it simmer for the next 10 to 20 minutes. Now the time is all based on how thick your chicken is. Now if you have chicken tenders in there or a very thin cutlet cut of chicken in there, I would go about 10 minutes. If it's thicker, then just keep adding about 5 minutes to it. Now if you got really big thick chicken breast in there, then you can even go up to 20 minutes. Use your thermometer to check the internal temperature of your chicken to test whether it's done or not. You don't want to overcook your chicken, but if you don't have a thermometer, you can pull out one of your chicken breasts and then slice it and see if it's cooked or not. And if it needs more time, put it back in there and let it poach or boil just a few more minutes. While we have our chicken boiling or poaching on a simmer, we're going to go ahead and start making our dumplings. We're going to do the dry ingredients first. Add two cups of all-purpose flour to a large bowl. We're going to put in half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm just going to put it right in there. We're going to add some salt. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon up to a half a teaspoon. We're going to take a whisk and we're going to whisk this all together. Now give it some time to do this so that you can break up the flour. You can either do it like this or you can sift your flour with the salt and the baking powder into it. But a whisk will serve the same purpose. There we go. Done. I'm going to take two tablespoons of butter and just cut it into the flour with a knife. I'm just going to take a pastry cutter or you can use two knives, you can use some forks, and then what we're going to do is just mash that butter into the flour until it's all incorporated. It's not going to take very long to do this because we've only got two tablespoons of butter in there and that's all we're going to need. I'm going to get my wooden spoon ready. 
I'm going to add one cup of buttermilk. Now if you don't have buttermilk, you can make your own and I'll include a little brief description in my box below on how to do that. I'm just going to take my wooden spoon and I'm just going to stir this all together until we form a dough ball. So just keep pushing the dough into the flour until we get it all combined. And what we're going to do is go in with our hand here and get this all mixed up the rest of the way. Now I've done chicken and dumplings several different ways. I've done it in the crock pot where I've used canned biscuit dough you can certainly use the canned biscuit dough. A lot of people do it that way. You can use Bisquick, which I've done before, and I've made the round dumplings. Those are so fun to eat. <laughs> They're so delicious, too. But I'm going to do it the Cracker Barrel way because my husband loves their chicken and dumplings like that. I'm going to bring it home. All right, that's looking really good. What I'm going to do is lightly flour a work surface. Now I just have a Silpat mat here. I'm going to very lightly sprinkle some flour on it just to kind of coat it, put my dough on it. I want to form a ball. So just knead it just for a minute or so. We want to be able to roll this out. Just kind of push into the dough with the palms of your hands. We're going to take our rolling pin and roll this out. I'm just going to take some flour and just flour my rolling pin and roll this out. About an eighth of an inch. We want them very thin. Now using a sharp knife or a pizza cutter, we're just going to make strips And then I'm going to cut them this way, and then one more right here. Maybe I'll make one more right here. There we go. I'm going to sprinkle some flour, pull these apart. And it's okay with all the flour. It's going to thicken our broth that we're going to cook the dumplings into, so don't worry about that. I'm excited about these. I know somebody else is too. Huh, dear? <laughs> He's excited. We got them all floured. I'm just going to test my chicken. It's done. It's over 165. I'm going to turn off the burner. What I'm going to do is pull my chicken out of the pot and put it on a cutting board and we're going to start shredding it up. Y'all, this was perfectly cooked chicken. All right, I've put three cups of the shredded chicken into a measuring cup here just so I can measure it out. And then I just poured some of the broth from the pot into it just to kind of keep it moist while we're working on our dumplings. We're gonna go ahead and turn our broth and our water mixture back on to a high heat. What I'm gonna do is add four more cups of broth to our mixture here. You're going to need it. Now you can season again and I'm going to flavor with some poultry seasoning. That'll give some really good flavor in there. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Now that we've got a boil going on, we're going to start adding in our dumplings very carefully very small batches because we don't want these all to stick together. The flour on these dumplings will make this broth nice and thick. So as they start coming up to the top, just keep adding these. Just sporadically place them around, not in the same place, but just move them around. You can see how they're starting to puff up. Absorb all those flavors. 
just going to take my spatula here, just kind of move these around. These are going to cook for 15 minutes. Now, as you can see how slow we put them in, see how they're puffing up and they're not one big dumpling. That's what we're looking for. Okay, we're going to bring our heat down to about a medium. Let it simmer for that 15 minutes. About five minutes before the dumplings are cooked, we're going to go ahead and add our three cups of cooked chicken back into our pot here very carefully. All right, we're going to give this all a mix. Now, if you feel like you need to add some more thickener, then you can do some cornstarch or you can add some additional flour. Just take some of the broth out of your pot here put it into a small bowl, add some flour or cornstarch, mix it up and then pour it back in and stir it up and that will thicken that up. Now if you want it more soupy you can leave it just the way it is. I'm going to add my slurry here. Oh doesn't that look good in there? Look at that. Mmm, delicious fluffy pillows of goodness here those dumplings that chicken all in here nice and shredded it absorbed all those flavors there's some onion in there and that delicious seasoning that i put in there look at that broth nice and thick i'm gonna take a nice bite the chicken is so tender it's going to go good. Now I put some cracked black pepper on top of my chicken and dumplings. Here's my bite. Mmm. That is so delicious. That broth makes it mmm. The dumpling is nice and fluffy on the inside. Oh my gosh, so delicious, you guys. I hope you try this Cracker Barrel copycat version of chicken and dumplings. I know my husband's going to love it. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Y'all, don't forget to comment and, oh. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, that's it, you guys. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. You can go to my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, to find this recipe and many more, and also you can find my cookbooks there also. We'll see you on the next episode.